Raffles Girls School is accustomed to bringing home the goal in rhythmic gymnastics. But this year, their wow factor in the competition is matched by the story of one young gymnast away from her apparatus. I'm Alexis Pung and I'm part of Raffles Girls School's Rhythmic Gymnastics team. My family and I were sitting at home watching the Beijing Olympics and then they were showing the Rhythmic Gymnastics. My mom called me over and to come and see it. She was like, hey, how about we try this? The next thing I knew, I was in this studio and then I was trying it out and I loved it. I just super enjoyed it because I did ballet previously, so I like dancing and stuff. I got hooked, so here I am now. I love that it's both an art form and a sport. So it's an art form in that I get to express myself and convey something to the audience and like show everyone what I'm capable of because I always like performing in front of an audience. It's a sport in that it involves both strength and grace. I really like how it combines both grace and strength into a sport. I think I was primary four, the club where I trained closed down. So we didn't have a place to train, and then I didn't have a coach to train with or a club to train with, so I had no team. My mom was like frantically searching the entire Singapore for a place to train, but everywhere was too far or too expensive. So we had to resort to training at the void deck. My mom had to go and search and buy the mats. Every single training, I have to carry it down the mats and they were super heavy and we had to lay it out and then the ground was super dirty so I came home with black feet every day. Every time when I was training, people who walked by were just like stare at me like, what are you doing? Yeah, so it was really not the best place or environment to train in but I'm really glad that we pulled through because we were at a point where we wanted to give up already and it was getting too tough and then my mom was like, maybe we should just move on to something. But in the end, I just persevered I'm definitely very grateful for what my mom has done for me and all the effort and blood, sweat and tears she's put in just so that I can do something that I love because she's really sacrificed so much like her money, her time, her energy and even her job. She quit her job so she could spend more time with me. I think my greatest achievement is the fact that I'm still a rhythmic gymnast at all today. We face a lot of challenges in this journey and I can't forget how there was this point where I almost gave up but I'm so glad I didn't and just persevered all the way and managed to be where I am today. For this year's inter-schools, I actually got the chance to choreograph my own routine to perform in front of the judges. I had to find my own music and I also edited it myself. I came up with the moves myself so I had to search for all the moves and put them together. Of course, with the help of my coach. I sure hope that everyone will enjoy it. I love rhythmic gymnastics too much and I don't wish to part with it. So I thought of taking up part-time coaching because I enjoy coaching my little sisters who are also rhythmic gymnasts. Rhythmic gymnastics will always be a part of me.